Hello, this is Deborah J. Kelly, and welcome to the red carpet for the beautiful Survivors event at the brainchild of Caroline Macaca. So I'm here with a lady who really needs no introduction from me. She is the chairperson for Ladies of All Nations. We're here at the beautiful Survivors and we've just acknowledged women. We've listened to women's stories. It's been incredible. Dr. Pauline Long, the founder of BEFTA and everything else to boot. I don't even know where to start, but tell me about what you thought about today. Do you know, I, I think that today is a historic day mm. right here in London. Um, you walk on the streets, you see people looking beautiful, people looking amazing mm. with their makeup and their beautiful hair, their beautiful dresses. But inside, yes. you just don't know no that idea. story that needs to be shared. You just don't know that weight that somebody is carrying. Yes. And to bring them into this room, yes. um, ladies of all, nations international you know to bring them here for them to open up which is not easy I know you know some of them you know Very don't difficult. feel comfortable to open up but they opened up and to share their story that's yep. a gift they're giving their gift to the world their pain sharing their pain with the world is them giving a gift to the world and I am so proud to be the chair and to be associated with this um, incredible organization such beautiful souls such beautiful hearts and the lady behind oh. this organization what can I say about her yeah. Caroline Macaca. <laughs> yes. Incredible. I know. Mm. And, you know, she kind of takes a back seat. She hides away. But what she's really doing is just incredible. Absolutely. I mean, she takes the back seat, <laughs> but she runs around right. with no shoes, right. you know, to make sure that everybody's happy, to make sure that, you know, the right people are honored, to make sure that, that the stories are heard. And, you know, bless her, even from her hospital bed when I she's know. not well, Caroline will make sure the event goes on. So, yeah. Caroline, I pay special tribute yes. to you yes. as a big sister to you. Do. I love you and I will never leave you to walk alone. And everybody within the organization, Ladies of All Nations International, loves you very, very much. And I'd just like to appeal to both men and women out there. I know it's a women's organization, but we are inviting the men into the conversations because some of the stories that we've had today, oh. men are actually supporting women. Right. You know, exactly, it's absolutely exactly. incredible. So we, we, it's a women's organization, but men, please do not fear. We invite you in, in yes. join the conversation, join the movement. You know, you know, come and come and show us some love while you listen to the pain that these women are going yes, through. Yes, I know, I yes. know. It's been an incredible day. I mean, it's there's been tears in the house, right? No dry eye, I know. Jesus, and um, <laughs> yeah, and it's just incredible what these women have achieved. Yes, it's absolutely incredible. It just shows that, you know, nobody can stamp you as a victim right. forever. Right. You know, they can put a right. temporary stamp, you peel it up, you peel it off and you become victorious. You know, no situation is permanent. Ladies, go through that pain. It's okay to go through that pain. But guess what? You are going to find your power to turn your pain into profit. I did say earlier on, you know, pain into profit. Right. And, and let me explain that. Into profit that gives you independence, gives you freedom and gives you that capacity to give back absolutely do you know what I mean yes I to do to be a, a humanitarian I absolutely so do so your, your pain is your power and it's right. your profit exactly mm. it absolutely is and you have that opportunity to turn it around to be 
a power within you as well. I mean, I certainly have. And obviously yes. you've shared your story today. So certainly, you know, I think all of the women here today have. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Incredible stories. I mean, some people might be shocked to, to hear my story, you know, <laughs> especially my family. It was great to share. No, because I've never said some of those things. And my dad might watch it and say, really, yeah, Pauline, yeah. is that is how you felt? But right. yes, that's how I <laughs> felt, dad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, I encourage you know people to come out and and share their story when they're alive so that right. it's not tarnished when they're gone right do you know what i mean I do. because everybody has a story Absolutely. i mean the stories, the stories that were told here today could make a massive book that would be such a fantastic idea, yes. wouldn't it? Yes. We should do that. I think we should. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On that note, we have work to do, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. We're going to put a book together now. Yes. Well, Dr. Pauline, if anybody is inspired by what they've heard from you today, where can we find you? Well, I am everywhere and yes. anywhere. <laughs> Everywhere good yes. and anywhere good. But they can find me on Facebook, Dr. Pauline Long. I have two profile pages. If you cannot add me, please don't get frustrated. Just send me a message and I will always message you back. Alternatively, you can email us. Send us an email and we will be in touch. I'm always ready to serve you guys. I'm a servant. Forever servant. Thank you so much. It's been an honour to speak to you. As always. And you too. Can I give you a quick kiss? Yeah. I love this One of my favourite <laughs> people, right? She's an amazing woman. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs>